So this is our ultrasound guided prostate biopsy model. And we have two versions of this. We have a transrectal biopsy model and a transperineal biopsy model. You know, we change as practice change. So we developed a transrectal model and then as practice evolved, we also developed the transperineal model. So what's unique about our model? You know, it's really this prostate. So we have a prostate that we can color code to all the unique regions that require to be biopsied. And so this is placed, of course, within a hydrogel base that has the rectum, has the pubic symphysis or the pubic bone, the prostate, of course, with the seminal vesicle, and a bladder. So everything that is required of either a transrectal or transperineal biopsy. We did a significant amount of work on our hydrogel to really make it ultrasound compatible so that you have those hypoechoic focuses while at the same time not interfering with the ultrasound. Each one of these regions, when you pass the biopsy gun through, will give you a unique color. And so when you are telling the urologist practicing or the trainee to target, for example, the anterior lesion, they should get that completely green. And if they have that contaminated with any other color, that means they were misdirected. And that's really the way to teach someone in simulation. That's real-time objective feedback. Now, this model was, again, had to be surrounded by a significant amount of structures and encased in a hydrogel block. And so that's what we created. So you can see here, this is our transperineal biopsy model. It has the actual perineum, it has the rectal opening, and it has the median wrapping. Now inside here is the pubic bone, the bladder, the seminal vesicle, and all other components, and all this is ultrasound compatible. You'll see it in the video. So as you can see in this model, this is the transrectal model, this was designed to have unique colors to the different aspects that you're biopsying. And this is an example of the transrectal model being biopsied. You can see the seminal vesicle, both sagittal and transverse views, but every single biopsy here you see has a unique color to it in the core. We also actually measure the length of the cores to see how effective the surgeon is in enabling them to get the entire length of the core from the biopsy gun. These are very small, portable models that can really be sent out. Now, this is a unique experience that we created during COVID. We were stuck with not being able to really have in-person teaching, and surgical skills have to happen in person. So this is one of our residents, and we used what we call a combination of a cloud-based mixed reality software, mixed reality glasses, and as well as our hydrogel models, where this trainee was in another room down the hall, and I was sitting at what I call my command center where I can see several views, and I'm able to guide them through with audio, and my hand, as you realize, in the right lower corner, as I put my hand underneath that webcam that's in front of me, you will be able to see that that overlays as an image with the trainee. The trainee is also wearing mixed reality glasses where they're able to hear and see my hands move in their field of view in somewhat of a transparent way. You can see it right there. So I'm guiding them through how to pivot the ultrasound in order to get the correct biopsy. We had, interestingly, we found that this way of learning was more effective than in-person learning because the expert had no way of really touching the ultrasound or just moving their hand. They had to explain it very well and the trainee had to understand it very well. So again, showing how our models can create unique learning experiences.